It is instead time for some anime news. And we'll start with some fun news. Fun is fun, so why not do that? <laughs> the summer is really heating up, and what better way to deal with a heat wave than existential dread? No, wait, getting splashed <laughs> at a water park. Wow. <laughs> um, the Toei Movie Village theme park in Kyoto has opened up a new Neon Genesis Evangelion themed water park event titled Splash Evangelion Kyoto Base 2022, where two angels or staff members in angel mascot suits hose guests down with water cannons um beneath the inspiring presence of a 15 meter tall eva unit one statue guests fight back with eva colored water guns and different it's gear so like eva so ponchos and inflatable atf shields <laughs> which most importantly guests can purchase and take home just to give you an idea, because oh, it's important. Oh, God. Oh, wow. No. no. There's a giant no. Eva Unit 1. You have your ponchos. You have your AT fields. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. This is actually a thing. Wow. Because why not? Because it's, why not? It's peeing uh, on you. <laughs> No, the water cannons don't come out of there. In, in okay, there. good. That's, that's, that's not, there's there's like, like, a, like a wave pool kind of a thing. A water, it's water like a fever water dream. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very weird. Um, can, can you just imagine all the all the people cosplaying as Asuka and, and <laughs> Ray in plug suits going, water me down. <laughs> oh, um, I'm, I'm doing a TikTok video. Hit me with the hose. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not uh, late enough yet, everyone. Um... <laughs> Of course, themed food must also be available. After you fought off a water attacking angel, you can purchase shaved ice in a commemorative Evangelion themed cup. Because, of course. And pretend you're eating another angel. Okay. Exactly, yes. Oh my god. I could just see every little terrified child and their their <laughs> wise cracking otaku parents being like, "Ha ha ha, Billy, get in the pool, get in the pool, Billy." Ha, ha, ha. It's just like Shinji. Oh, shut up! <laughs> if you get a chance, there is a they have posted a YouTube video. Oh no! Which includes a guy who is apparently having the time of his life, like. Directing the people and what to, and what to do and like announcing all the things that happening. It's glorious. Um, uh, uh, you know, deploy AT fields. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, Does he work there or is he just an <laughs> visitor? Some guy screaming. Some Somebody guy who's guy. really into it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh dear. Um, Moving right along, the time the wait is finally over. It's time to start planning a trip to the Studio Ghibli theme park, oh, or yeah. at least look at the info and pretend that you're planning a trip. Um, <laughs> the park will officially open on November 1st, and a number of preparatory updates came this week. First, the park's opened an official Twitter account, um, uh, with pictures behind the scenes, sneak peeks, all that kind of fun stuff. They also shared a high res image of the, the park's map, um, showing the full layout of the park and pointing out particular notable attractions. Previously released artwork of the venue was also released in HD with fans encouraged to use them within the bounds of common sense. Um, a lottery for advanced ticket sales will open on August 10th, which we announced on September 2nd. General ticket sales opening September 10th. So it is coming. Time is coming. Um, you know, at some point soon, you'll be able to go to the Jimmy theme park, which is pretty cool. It would also be nice if they'd open up the country so we could come visit the country and the theme park. But just maybe that they know something we don't. I would like to think so. Ah, one can hope. Now, if you're in need of new earbuds, this is the week for you. Not one, but two anime have upcoming collaborations with Japanese audio brand Zini, being special customized Bluetooth earbuds complete with matching cases and chargers. Gainax's Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water. Oh, wow. Is getting the headphones as part of its 30th anniversary celebrations. <gasps> with the case featuring, yeah, um, with the case featuring the, uh, the Nautilus there in uh, in silhouette. What? Um, okay. The blue earbuds have uh, ancient Atlantean lettering, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, you take a set of features, Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex, 2045. Oh, wow. 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 The logo on the case, and special charging pad with custom art of Major <clears throat> Um In addition, each set of earbuds features newly recorded voice lines. Um, the Major herself gives you guided instructions on how to use the earbuds, while Electro mm. does the same for the Nadia set. So they're already all, they're all already sold out. I'm kidding. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, you know the Otaku were snapping those up. Oh, you know, God, right and left. God, no joke. And all the instructions are in Japanese, so if you bought oh, them yeah. and tried to install them here and pair them with your phone, they won't work at all. You'll never understand it. I'd still buy it. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Nadia's 30th, mm -hmm. which explains why, and, I, and periodically I've sent you mm -hmm. guys like stuff on the, on the Discord yeah. where it's like, oh, there's a Nadia Nendoroid. Then there's right, the Nautilus yeah. like model. It's yeah. like it just Nadia stuff just keeps popping up, mm -hmm. and I was wondering what, but that makes absolute sense now. The thirtieth yeah. came right. Up. Yeah, gotcha. Yep, yeah. it is. It is now. It, it is that very much. Okay, gotcha. Um, nice. Yeah, totally. Um, moving on to some more normal anime news. The launch of a new anime studio was announced this week by animator Yuki Igarashi. Uh, known for his direction on the Star Wars Visions Wap and Ocho episode. It'll be called Outline, and it debuted an anime music video this week. Um, and it's a new studio under a company called Twin Engines, Engine of the Animation Studio team, alongside Bug Film and Scooter Film, who established in October of last year. So, it's fun stuff happening. Okay. The Gundam Info website announced an upcoming manga last week called Despair Memory Gundam Sequel. It takes place um, 20 years after the last Great War, and where the Gundam, um, which ended the war, is now seen as the enemy of peace itself. So uh, it'll debut on the Complex website July 29th. Um, another new week, another set of One Piece news. Firstly, the manga is getting ready to return from its one month hiatus, and H. Hero Oda posted a handwritten message on Twitter ahead of the new chapter that definitely made some waves in the fandom. Oda talked about how he's dreamed since he was a kid of drawing a manga where the end is the most, most exciting part and stated that with the end of the current arc, the groundwork is almost finished. That's right. The last 25 years of One Piece has only counted as groundwork for whatever is about to come next. Wow. It better it's be like, earth shattering it, it, for this it, much it, time. It, I <laughs> Uh, the manga celebrated its 25th anniversary on the 22nd, and a commemorative video was posted this week playing um, um, homage to the long epic saga of the manga and to the 3,463 pen nibs Oda has gone through drawing the series so far. Wow. The video pairs a trail of pens and ink with important manga pages, retracing the story's rather long journey and process of its creation. Good for them. The last... Uh, the last part of it is just Luffy in bed and he dies and drops yeah. a snow globe. Yeah. And, oh, God. <laughs> and it's the little straw hat boat in the snow globe. Exactly. <gasps> yeah. no! da, 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 da. A scream was heard from tens of thousands of fans. No, everyone will die and then become naked space babies. <laughs> um, everything yeah. becomes idiot. Oh. Yeah, everything becomes idiot. Yeah, we oh, are yeah. idiot. Um... Now, an event was held this week at Katakawa's MF Bunko J Light Novel Imprint, and two new anime series were announced. Let's talk about some anime announcements. Mm -hmm. um, the Days with My Stepsister and Sasaki and Peeps novels are both getting TV anime. Um, Days with My Stepsister centers on a high schooler named Yuta, whose father gets remarried, resulting in him gaining a new stepsister. And no, this is not going where you think it's going. Um, the two, having witnessed the nature of their parents' previous relationships, Agree to keep a comfortable distance. None of them really know how to be siblings or have a relationship, but they slowly grow more comfortable with one another as time goes by. So it's about becoming siblings. So the hand holding and the pregnancy and everything else is just incidental. Right, exactly. Yes. Okay, exactly. good. Well, good. Let me understand that. Totally. Um, I Sasaki smell and... a lie. <laughs> uh, Sasaki and Peeps stars a tired and lonely businessman who visits the pet store one day on a whim and adopts an adorable bird. Um, when he gets the bird home, however, he re it reveals it's actually a powerful sage from another world and it bestows on him supernatural powers and the ability to travel between worlds. Okay, so I'm going to be honest here. When you, when you were saying 
that it's going to be this guy, oh, he's a lonely yeah. guy who's going to get this bird. I'm like thinking, like, oh. like, 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 yeah. And, and honest, honest. My roommate is like, a cat, you know, well, <laughs> but with a bird. Well, exactly. you know, and, and I was thinking, like, of Akira Kurosawa's Ikuru, that beautiful movie. It's very sad. Mm. But, you know, I was thinking, oh, like, yeah. okay, mm. it'll be a nicer, more uplifting version of that, you know, because the guy is lonely in that movie. And, mm. And I was like thinking, oh, you know what? I, you know, what? hey, I might actually, you know, yeah. give this a go. A, oh, it's a powerful sage in here. Just, I'm so like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fudgicles, fudgicles, yes. indeed, exactly, exactly, <laughs> fudgicles, indeed, yes. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, a TV anime is also on the way for, and this actually has me intrigued. The slow second life of the retired dark soldier in his 30s, novel series. It'll start in January. The story centers on a magical soldier who instead used his intellect and initiative as assistant to a captain in the Dark Lord's army to get ahead. When said captain, captain is replaced, however, Daryl loses his position, retires to a village of humans, and starts a new life by using his abilities to accept requests for help. Hmm. So it's just a retired soldier who goes to a village and is like, okay, how do I help? So basically, yeah, okay. it's an anime version of the Equalizer. Sure. Do you, oh, you don't know that show. I don't know that either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? And you don't know the Denzel Washington remake movies? I've heard no. of them. Oh. I'm, oh, I'm, God. I'm, 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 Where's I'm a I, 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 I involve my, my media viewage of, of a certain type of media. Uh, it's called anime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Discussion to be had later. <laughs> uh, the Black Channel Breaking the Wall short manga is ending on August 12th and announced a short anime adaptation on YouTube. Um, according to ANN, it centers on a demon who comes to the human world in search of content for videos. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, and he wants to expose the hidden side of humans, games, and hobbies. Uh, who has He has a high-efficiency high assistant named Camera Chan. I wonder what that is. So... Um, <laughs> Again, short YouTube series. So I think this is going to be right, more like yeah. gag manga yeah, uh, yeah. style of thing. Um, moving back to some regular anime news. Um, Tokyo Pop announced during its Comic-Con panel this week it's partnered with a Ukrainian publisher to translate and release a graphic novel anthology titled Victory for Ukraine, a collection of stories by Ukrainian creators about the country's current conflict. Oh, wow. um, a, prop, a share of profits will be donated to Ukrainian nonprofit organizations, and they aim to release the book on Ukrainian Independence Day, August 24th. That's pretty cool. It's very um, cool, actually. Exactly. Uh, Toho Animation, the studio behind Haikyuu, My Hero Academia, and Spy Family, and many others, um, is celebrating its 10th anniversary this week, or this year, rather. And it's a live stage event coming in September featuring guest voice actors and a look back at the history of the studio. Uh, September 25th uh, uh, in Tokyo, and it'll be on the Toho YouTube channel. Um, Crunchyroll announced this week that the cost of Crunchyroll premium memberships has decreased in nearly 100 international territories. Uh, sadly, not in the U.S. Um, the cost decrease will affect regions including the U.K., where the mega fan tier has dropped in cost by two pounds, as well as China, India, Brazil, and many others. The change also includes the cost transitioning from a set cost in USD um, to a set cost in the local currency from a number of countries. So basically, oh, as wow. they're evolving the platform, you know, they're able to sure, yeah, you know, simplify lower costs here and there, and, and kind mm -hmm. of do that. So nice. that's actually cool. pretty smart. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, cost going down. Great. Um, also wondering if that's helped by the Funimation acquisition of them saying, ah, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it this way. And that, you know, makes right. sense. Right, yeah. Um, finally, some Pokemon trading card game related news. A free Ooh. digital art exhibition of the card game is coming from August 10th to October 23rd with support for 10 languages, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Um, an online illustration exhibition to be divided into three areas. Life exploring artwork of Pokemon in their natural habitats. Natural habitats, they don't exist. Um, history, exploring the evolution of the game's illustrations over the years, that's really cool. Yeah. So they'll show how the artworks evolved. And the ancient Pokey civilization. Yes, exactly. Uh, right. definitely yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And artists, exploring the individual illustrators and their approaches to creating Pokemon art. It'll feature comments from 50 artists and illustrators. So that sounds cool. Again, it'll be digital, and it should be available in English. So nice, nice, very interesting. Um, I, I always appreciate when there's an exhibition that is not just here's a bunch of stuff. It's like here's some history, here's some look at the art, here's here's some more kind of analysis and thought behind it. Which is, it's very cool. Um, that's it. 
Oh, well, <laughs> oh okay. There you go. Oh, wow. Exactly. Um, a fairly short news week, but uh, just you know, some stuff going on. It's summer. Um, so I'm sure we're getting new stuff, too. And to be clear to everyone watching, we just got the new anime this past couple of weeks. And so there's no new anime being announced for a little while. We have a ways yeah. to go on that. So we're kind yeah. of in a middle point on things. 